So today I'm talking about a P0116 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0116 code? Well, it's an engine coolant temperature sensor one circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, basically engines have an engine coolant temperature sensor that's just reporting back to the computer what the temperature of the engine is. And the computer is using this for different information, like when to go into a closed loop and things like this. But when you get a P0116 code, the computer seeing some kind of problem with this sensor, mainly with the temperature sensor one. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0116 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that sensor has just gone bad. It's just failed. It just needs to be replaced. So the first thing to do is to locate that engine coolant temperature sensor on your particular engine. Since there will be differences, it will be located differently. There can also be just one sensor or there could be multiple sensors. It's really going to vary. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, it's a good idea to get a diagram where everything's laid out and where that engine coolant temperature sensor number one is located. There's some different ways to go about testing that engine coolant temperature sensor. Basically, these engine coolant temperature sensors are what's called a thermistor which is a resistor whose resistance changes as the temperature changes. So as the engine gets hotter or colder, the resistance inside of that sensor is going to change and the computer is going to be able to tell this. So you can get a multimeter, you can test it while it's cold, and then you can heat it up and test it and see if the resistance value changes. You could do this test while it's in the vehicle. You could do it while the engine's cold and then do it while the engine's hot and then check to see what the values are. An easier way is to use an OBD2 scan tool and you find the option for the ECT either in live data or data stream depending on the scan tool and you check to see what temperature that sensor is reporting there is in the engine and if it's way off then you know that that sensor is bad you know there's some kind of issue going on there for example if the engine's cold but that sensor is reporting like it's 500 degrees Fahrenheit or something then you know it's got some kind of problem but you can also use an OBD2 scan tool to test that sensor but the first thing that's going to cause this is that that engine coolant temperature sensor number one is just gone bad it just needs to be replaced the next thing that's going to cause this is some kind of issue inside the wiring there's like an open or a short or something like this so you can't get a multimeter and you can't go check the wiring to see what's going on and again if you do go to check the wiring you will need to get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on because there will be differences it is very common for these sensors to be getting five volts to them and then as the resistance changes inside of that temperature sensor, as the engine warms up, the resistance is going to change. And the computer is going to be able to see this. It's going to be able to read what the change in the voltage is. And it can do its calculations and know what the temperature of the engine is. So you can check to see if you are getting 5 volts to that temperature sensor. You can also check the wiring going to the computer to be sure there's no opens or anything. Again, there's going to be differences. You can have like a three-wire sensor. Quite often with these three-wire ones, you're going to have five-volt reference. You're going to have a signal wire going back to the computer. And then a wire is going to be going up to the dashboard for the temperature gauge. So again, there can be some differences. It's also a good idea to check for any blowing fuses and be sure there's no issues going on there. Because the next thing that's going to cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the last thing on the list is that there's going to be some kind of overheating problem going on inside of the system that's causing some kind of problem. Although usually if you get a P0116 code, it's going to be either a bad engine coolant temperature sensor or some kind of problem inside the wiring. But it is possible that there's some kind of other issue going on with the cooling system. And this is mainly going to have to do with the fluid, like if the fluid's low or if it's contaminated or something like that. And it's causing that sensor to get a bad reading or to malfunction or something along those lines. So it's a good idea to check your fluid, be sure it looks like it's okay, that it's at the right level, it's not contaminated or anything like that. Usually if there is some kind of overheating issue, you're going to know it, like the fans are just kicking on abnormally, and you're getting other codes, the engine's not running right, things along these lines. So if the engine is overheating, then that could be a problem. But the last thing on the list is that the engine is overheating. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0116 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.